Okay, my friends, today is January the 20th. Today is Sunday, January 20, 2019. What you see right there, it says it's a private, uh, it's forbidden entrance, it's a private location. Ah, here too, the politicians would be uh, stationed, but right now where I'm taking you uh, was the first location. I did this for Novi Turk. I did this for Zakopane, uh, and I'm going to do the same thing, the very same thing I'm going to do for uh, for this place here, for Grotniki, uh, about 20 kilometers from which located in the center of the Poland. Uh, I'm going to explain exactly, exactly, exactly how it all happened, uh, how we got here. Yeah. From the USA, how we came here. Uh, look, there's some people that were involved in this stuff that were really nice. And I don't feel mentioning their names. I don't feel that I would do them a bad deed, whatever. Like I said, if I did mention it. <coughs> Well, here and there I did mention some good guy or something like this, but on general I didn't want to do that. Uh, you see this, this here. This is basically behind this place here that you have seen. Uh, okay, this was, how can I say, this pertains to a complex which you are about to see next. And I think this is like a preschool for the children. Something like this. Well, this was the first location uh, here in Grotniki we were stationed at. There were some houses I'm going to demonstrate to you. Uh, but this area here that you see, I can tell you how it's inside. Uh, you can see it's fenced. You can see that there are some metal doors right there and stuff like this. Uh, basically, as far as I remember, unless they have renovated, and I think they did renovate it, I'm not sure. But in a front area, if I remember this properly, it would be like shelves like this. Inside was really filthy, it was flies, it was, it was very bad. And then in the back, I think there were rooms. I can obviously not go inside here. Uh, if I would go, and this place is guarded, in a little bit I'm going to explain to you more about this stuff. This was a location, let me see that, see, they have apartment units, as a matter of fact, whatever that is, uh, but this is the place I remember. This is a place, this is one of the locations, one of the locations I remember about this place here. It was a summer, it was hot, flies more than you could possibly count, filthy, not clean at all, but this was good for the staff people. And I just happened to be with them. Ah, uh, they were not Americans only. Israelis were just along in the same team with Americans. They had them in the same team. Now let's go. And I'm going to take you to the area where you can see basically more or less we would it was like this this was the first the number one location in Grotniki in here 20 kilometers something like this from which lodge which which uh, this exactly here this was the location this was the location before 
Kaczynski even got a contract. You see? This was the location. Let's see. This was the location before Kaczynski even got a contract for uh, for the center. It was when we came here. It was right in between. Uh, basically, they have done the deal, but they didn't close the deal completely. And then they got the deal. Then they did close the deal, and we would move to that center. All of a sudden, we would change this location. Uh, and we would move to the center. There is a little bit more to it. Uh, just once this car goes, I don't like to take privacy from people. This is really not the idea here. This is the last thing I want to do. But okay, it's gone far enough. This is very convenient located far, I mean, about maybe 20 30 meters away from the road that takes you from this location here from from Grotniki or if you like Zgrz Wurch to um, uh, to Zarko so it's it's so nice I mean you almost don't know it's here but it's here and then there is another thing Right behind this thing here, there's a lake. There's a lake. I'm going to take you there. There's a house. I also was inside of that house. I can give a description of interior of that house without even going inside. I know how it's inside. Um, and so you know a little about this stuff here, about this location. It's big like this. It's fenced. It was like always like this. In a little bit, I'm going to show you. Once they got a contract for Grotniki Immigration Center, which is located in Ostronia 29, uh, basically what you have seen, uh, we would move to that place and we will be coming in the mornings. I will never forget this. We will be coming uh like this 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 is the road that would go uh here this is how it all started uh individual was Dane Kolenz with whom I would have to come and we would have to report here again I was subjected to MK Ultra my name back then I went under the name Bobby Bob uh he called me Bustian um the Sunday called me Robert Bo. Um, uh, but this is where we would come, like this, and I'm never gonna ever forget this beautiful here, this this path here. It was the same thing like this. It was exactly like this, and I, I could possibly not forget this. We, we would walk inside in there, and then it would be like a house, like a I remember like a house like two houses in there uh that's where we would go and this would be our first location in Grotniki let me see uh right there that would be where we would go right there to that location right there that is exactly uh let me let me make sure that uh that you see it right there is where we would go right there and then they, they would get an assignment for the day what basically what to do 
with me where to go uh, later on my neighbor learned about um, how to get here through the forest uh, from the center, which is exactly what I did this morning and I also did yesterday. And I'm not going to forget. Uh, when was this place? When when did they got the contract? Uh, this immigration center, um, I believe that this was about the time when we came here. Now, there is a little bit more to it. Right across this here, there is another private location it's 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 where we would also stay not much that was reserved for the big politicians uh <laughs> considered somewhat like a luxurious place but we also would stay i don't i don't really i cannot recall much about that about that location i'm not really good at that when we didn't stay much at that location maybe just a few times maybe uh, but we did say that this location and I can give a very good uh, background about um, how such is located um, along the along the lake but what's interesting is you see this thing here what what we would do is we would just go right across this thing here and there is lake right there and so that's what I'm gonna basically that's what I'm gonna take you next um that's a house where i was inside with what became a president of slovenia this is a criminal kgb individual borat pahor is his name from slovenia became a president uh who worked along these politicians this biggest politicians uh, you know trump putin and so on um yeah they had they had everything here Netanyahu you see the difference between me and these people and it's I'm not gonna forget what this Satan Lucifer told me and I'm talking about Netanyahu the difference between you and me it's gonna be that I am picking up between your future ordeal I am picking up locations like let's say of all the locations where they stay where they are or if i like the location i pick one up and they make sure i stay at that location your problem however is going to be that you're not going to have anything you will be able to pick from this guy is as luciferous as anything possibly can be in this world and miller zaman and kaczynski um, and other politicians they just dreamed about you know dreamed about stuff the most evil stuff you possibly could imagine you could do to a person uh, <clears throat> what we're we gonna do to you what we're we gonna do to you americans somehow calm this come down they calm this filth down and they told them you shouldn't be so resentful toward him because you know, because, uh, well, in the first place, Kaczynski, Zeman, Netanyahu and the people believe that they have the right to intrusion, they have the right to torture, they have the right to subject people to MK Ultra. This is just their right. They have the right to do this kind of stuff. And if you don't accept somebody, if you don't relate somebody as per his facial features, somebody like a Jew, you're a neo-nazi basically if you don't like the facial features of the person uh it's not enough to walk away from you have to marry that person basically that's how they see it and if you don't do this you are a neo-nazi and so they would push these people in the face and threaten and torture and the more you would reject them uh and i am a very brave man i am a i am a man who spit at them uh humiliated them humiliating them in the face of the torture under mk ultra which i don't think anybody ever did and i didn't do this once i did this repeatedly for many 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 years and these people hated me with a passion because they couldn't take they couldn't take human dignity decency they couldn't take that in account they expected also from me all kinds of 
uh, they anticipated I would turn into whatever that I would become. And then they come with all kinds of plans and so on. Uh, like I said, Americans calm them down by gesturing them they shouldn't resent me so much because they should rather think about how much money they make through to me. And so they really did, these cretins, these imbeciles, they really somehow did manage to control themselves. And then they become even interested in other things doing with me. Um, which, of course, I'm absolutely not interested. Uh, I'm not interested in converting myself into a Jew, uh, embracing some kind of nation I have nothing to do with, and so on and so forth. Uh, people that don't appeal to me, uh, I don't know, go to Arabia, go to Chechnya, and please don't feel offended. Uh, you can't expect from somebody to, uh, you know, be quiet about the stuff you basically have committed. This is this is a genocide multiplied with a hundred. It's beyond disgusting. <clears throat> when you do the stuff to like this to the person, you should not expect from person uh, if that person have a little dignity, if that person has uh, uh, anything in him that is humane. You should not expect anything, anything different you got from me. Basically, that's the, that's just the way it is. And I feel sorry for the people like this. They are pathetic, pathetic pieces of shit. Excuse me on my language this morning. You gotta use bad words when there is the right place to use them. You cannot be nice about dirty, filthy things like this. <clears throat> and so you can see some luxurious homes over there because let me just see this let me see this no uh, this was one of the locations but no uh, the other location that they, they were big time they were stationed goes this way up and then it goes that I don't have much memory on that one uh, Like I said, we stayed a few times. I don't really care about that one uh, But yeah, they had people like Netanyahu to stay in the luxury residences This was the number one thing for them. This was Really nothing else than fun 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 and beside everything they had, the only thing they did, they were bitched and bitched and bitched and bitched and bitched and bitched about it. I will not forget a Jew. I will not forget a Jew. Netanyahu brought some Jews with him. And I will never ever forget this. Uh, it was like nobody did anything to them. Nobody did anything to them. I'm not going to forget this. It was like young kids, like kids like that back then, maybe. I have no idea, maybe 25, maybe 20, 23, 24, 25 years old. And they would come with Netanyahu and Netanyahu would just, uh, they would talk about this. They would start to talk about the racism and all of a sudden it was like totally unexpected reaction that, that you could get from this. Jewish kid from Israel, he was an Israeli. Uh, all of a sudden, he started to go like a psychotic, like uh, that, you know, that he feels that 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 he is discriminated against. That uh, everything started all of a sudden to bother him. Basically, this is the type of people. I think if they were not as crazy as this. Uh, I think they had to become when they once they were next to Netanyahu. I think they just had to become insane like this. Otherwise, they could not be part of that crew. Anyways, it was like uh, it was like um, it's 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 like uh, it, it was like a school for the young kids for the young Israeli kids to become. It's not about being aware, 
about what your people have gone through <laughs> because really evil was done to them in World War II. Bad things happened for these people, very bad things that should never happen. But it was about, you know, it was about how to turn really otherwise normal kids into, into you know, totally uh, unacceptable, psychopathic. Okay, uh, it's, it's like this, you understand? I didn't go inside in here. The house is the same as it was. There was a glass door right there. After the glass door, there would be something like this that you could move like plastic like this that you would go inside. In that right there, there was a living room with a TV, whatever they had, like area. We would stay up there in the room right there that you said, let me see it, that I show you. That would be the room on, I, again, I, you know, but then again, I don't care because, you know, this should never ever happen in the first place. We would stay on the room right there. That would be the room on on the right side right there. Um, there will be a stairs. You would go upstairs this. And I remember there was like a... a how do you say this in English? Um, oh, no. Uh, like a big drawer. Uh, there will be a bad drawer. Uh, a drawer like this. Uh, bad like this. Probably they have rearranged, but look at those antennas right there. Does this look like a, like a regular? This was, um, yeah, this was one of the first locations. Uh, and again, it's right behind this location where I just took you. One day they came. I remember, I'm not gonna forget, we got, we got the contract, it's finished, it's arranged, it's arranged, it's arranged, then they started with, um, with this thing, then it all started, okay, so, I was in this house, we were on quite a few occasions in this house, then we would come here, uh, I, there was a guy over there, I really don't care, you know, I don't care about it. Because this is such a violation. These people, these people know about this stuff, and you know, it's just really disgusting that they have to walk around like this uh, and talk about this. And they watch these movies. What basically I remember, what can I recall, and what I cannot recall, rather than to come out and submit the proof. Since I am of age 47, since this country arranged, changed my. U.S. citizenship for passport into a loony asylum, into a mental asylum where I was tormented for no less than two years, altogether five years by psychiatrists in Slovenia. See, this is a lake. We would come here uh, and they would swim here. This is where Pahar would love to swim back and forth here. Uh, so this is why this is this is this was like the first location. The only thing I'm gonna say is that with Poland, uh, I'm gonna put it this way: this doesn't have even anything to do with the politicians so much, because you know it was all kinds of anticipations. You know, like yeah, you know. Uh, uh, they would they, they they wanted to create like you know all kinds of uh, you know destroy personality and the MK culture in such a ways that it would be like all the time it would be like uh, well you know you're gonna uh, when you see me on the street then you come to me and you ask me and this and that really huh let me think about this stuff uh, you know exactly who I am you know what you have done to me and you want me to go on knees and beg you uh, for what exactly do you want me to beg you for me to beg maybe God to forgive what you have done to me what exactly is it that you want from me as a, as a country as a people as, as what the fuck you want you turn my Slovenian citizenship you assisted these people 
that have done that have reclassified us into another nations to wipe us out people like myself you covered up for them you covered up for the russia for the serbia genocide then you went and you were ruined you lied you lied to the british you lied to the french you lied to the dutch you lied to everybody how you are going to assist me in the future how is going to be and this and that then if i'm going to tell the story about the zakopani if i'm going to tell the story about the noviturk then you come with a new idea that the whole thing it could be actually really interesting and you could actually earn the money with reality show uh, donald trump will show you demonstrate you how to make a fast money poland how you're going to become wealthy like this doing filthy shit like this and got me into psychiatry where i was tortured ruined my life up to age 47 you're asking me about where my family is where my children it's none of your fucking business it's none of your fucking business you know where they are you know what you have done to me and it was not enough that you had done like this stuff under mk ultra alone but you had to make a rehearsal of mk ultra the most criminal causing the person cirrhosis of the liver cirrhosis brain cancer hypertension because it was not enough for you it was not enough for you and i should go and i should look for the people i know and i should go on my knees and i should beg you for the proof fuck you poland fuck you as a country fuck you as a people me as a person i can never forgive you any of this stuff you fucked my political asylums in hungary in belarus which i'm lucky it didn't happen in ukraine in norway in sweden in france in germany in austria in canada and you fuck my life in the united states of america you basically fuck me wherever possibly you could fuck me and for that you want me to thank you and for that you want me to go on knees and ask you for the proofs so that's my take on this country on this people on this whole thing i am disgusted with the whole thing i am disgusted i'm repulsed with the whole thing I have heard all kinds of stuff, how this place alone became divided, how, uh, you know, uh, but I'm not going to forget that some people that were victims turned into victimizers too, of other people. I'm not going to forget that. Um, we can talk about division of the society, we can talk about a lot of things. You can talk about all you fucking want to talk about, but I'm asking God not to forgive you this as a nation and as a people uh, I am asking him to remember that you made money with this and you even tried to sell me to Chechens to Arabs to Israel now, this is the filthiest thing anybody ever have done now I was told that uh, uh, this is gonna be uh, try to help me uh, and if, if things are not gonna be then they're gonna release this one day there's gonna be one day maybe 10 15 years from now on they're gonna say yeah well you know it did happen well, well you know what I'm, I want to I want to say to you in respect to this stuff I'm gonna put it this way Donald Trump counted on this psychologist big time this psychologist saw herself as a Melania uh, she started to see herself because Trump flattered her so much and the idea behind all this was to handle me like a dog on the leash basically so they would have the complete control it wouldn't be about my life about me about what I want in life but it would be about me being controlled like a dog on the leash the truth somehow would come out about the whole thing but I would be controlled like a dog on the leash, basically, like an animal. 
Not that I blame her, this was just a girl, a beautiful girl that really was interested in me, but the political views turned her into, uh, you know, uh, this, is, this is not a difficult thing to do. Uh, my views were screwed on so many occasions by so many political systems, so the Moscow could profit from within. Well, the stuff they have done to me, the way they have brainwashed, they brainwash people. So this is not a difficult thing to do to a lady. I don't resent her anything. I really don't resent her. Uh, the only thing I would expect from her would be for her to move on and be who she really is. Be who you are, be what you are, or don't be at all, basically, is how I feel about it. If you can't be you, yourself, you know, then I, do, I don't feel like being around you in the first place. I'm just going to put it this way. If you can serve the truth, if you can serve the real purpose in your life, uh, then in that case, I am also not willing to serve you. This is just the way it is. And so they came up with the idea that this is how I would be controlled. And if this would not work, then a U.S. Congress, a U.S. government, the way they are, look at this. In Russia, they arrested the girl that has approves about Donald Trump how he was in Russia, how he meddled in Russia and this and that. And what is it that U.S. government does? They do, as always have done, see nothing, know nothing, till the person is killed, disappears, whatever. Then they start to talk about it, so they get more. They trade. They trade these lies for whatever they are interested in obtaining from others and so on. Or maybe just to cover up, because really, honest to God, United States of America didn't get shit from Russia as far as I'm concerned. And so, because I'm so unadjustable, because I'm so... Um, unreformed. Un, uh, Nere Formovalny was the girl librarian that also wrote me. She said, you're gonna be nothing, you're gonna go die by yourself alone, and this and that. Then she went, she wrote me in a paper that what a piece of shit I am, that I don't, uh, you know, I'm going to put that online, that, and so on, and so on, uh, that I don't adjust myself to the political climate, that I don't, and, and this and that. Um, you know, there are things that are more valuable than political climate. There are big things that happened throughout the history. There was a Jesus, Jesus inside of the Bible. People remember things. And I don't feel like I want to serve this political ideals like this. I don't feel like I want to become part of some kind of movement that does a filthy stuff like this. Uh, it's a conscious decision. It's a conscious decision. Why is it that this is the way it's going to be? Why this thing has got to be like this? And so, this is the way it's going to be. I don't care. I really don't care about it. Uh, if I would do the stuff like this to the person, the only thing I would do is, if I had honest, clean intentions, when I would see one, I would go to him and I would say, here, sir, here's the proof, here are audio, here are video recordings, and so on. And I do this because you are a person, because you are a human being. I don't do it for the money. Uh, I don't do it for... Uh, you know, whatever reasons, but this is too much to ask for from here. I was pissed off at the politicians, but when I think about all this stuff, I'm pissed off at the whole thing. That's all I got to say today again. Today is January the 20th of 2019. What a beautiful day it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I will continue to learn Polish language. My sound completely insane, crazy, but... The truth is, the language is in demand, not only in Poland, but also in other locations in this world. Uh, if things somehow are not going to work out here, things already didn't work out, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I have lost, completely lost, I have to say that, um, you know, that zealousness, eager, when you're, when you're interested in in becoming a part of the society, uh, I don't actually know how to pursue this anymore. I'm thinking about it, uh, and when I think about the stuff like this, when I think about that you push down the throat shit like this to the person, 
uh, and that you know that you would brainwash person uh, you know in, into some kind of uh, patriotism uh, through through the stuff like this uh, I somehow I cannot accept it this is not a good will this is not coming from the heart this is not coming from uh, you know because it's a human being because it's a person uh, but these are completely other interests that are involved behind this and so I don't I I, um, I, I lost I, I completely lost appetite for this I lost appetite for this um, I'm a white Christian um, I am disgusted with Israel more than anybody else um, they dream about washing deeds of Judas Ishkariot who sold for the 30 coins Jesus Christ they are determined to wash this somehow and like I said Poland Zeman Czech Republic uh, they were in way more in this whole game uh, but it was always about the money 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 these people would even sell their own people they do it frequently anyways so they could have their pockets full but that's why I, I understand even less because you see what's happening you see what is happening and you as a person as an individual of this nation you have seen this shit you you saw the ordeal you know what this is all about and you still hesitate you still have second thoughts and uh, you know all kinds of other issues involving this stuff so that's all i want to say really today is january the 20 2019 uh as far as this church and people over there they can go to hell uh i got nothing to do with them uh and it's basically only one thing i want to do from them i don't want them anywhere near me ever again i don't want to see them i don't want to know for them if this is what they have ways i hope they earn their 30 silver coins and i hope that allah is going to praise them for that because this is their ultimate wish me myself however i don't want to have anything to do with them i think they're the filthiest people one of the filthiest people also i have ever seen that's all thanks for watching till next time